Hello everybody, I'm the Code Holic and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to talk about internship. What is an internship, why it's necessary and how to use internship effectively to improve your skills. I create videos about web development coding tutorials and challenges as well as some tips, tricks and advices just like this one. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. Let's start with the main question, what is internship and why it is necessary. Internship is a teaching program where a person can realize his theoretical knowledge in a real company, in a practice. Why is internship necessary? Because sometimes the theoretical knowledge and never the theoretical knowledge is enough for, uh, for real-world projects. So you need a place where you realize this theoretical knowledge in a real company. You have basically two solutions for like realize your theoretical knowledge. One is to do this at home. And second is to go to a company where you will meet a lot of experienced people and realize your knowledge right there. So. I recommend to take the internship program uh, for sure rather than sitting at home because you have much, much more chances to improve your skills. How to choose a company? I also advise you to choose company carefully. Make a research, ask people if they know the internship about the internship of that or this or that company. Uh, just find out how good the internship is there and only after this make a final decision of the company. Also, my advice is that don't pay attention to the, to the salary you are going to take in this company um, because you're going to get a lot of knowledge and you should not choose a company which has higher salary but you know that they are not going to give you quite good knowledge during the internship rather than the company who has lower salary but they are going to give you definitely a huge knowledge. The internship basically lasts for several months and after the several months you are going to be chosen as a, as a full-time or part-time developer or just uh, you will be uh, out of that company. Okay, what to do next when you choose a company and you started internship right there? So probably the company has some uh, some plan how to give the like the tasks and projects to the interns and they're going to follow this. So my biggest advice probably is to use the time effectively, the most effectively you can actually. So because you, you need to look at that uh, internship program like you are paying for it uh, and you need to learn as much as possible because you are paying. Actually, you are not paying, they are paying you, but you need to think like this and every second should be used effectively in that company. So ask questions to some senior developers, to experienced people, um, do as much projects as you can, um, like disturb many people, of course, if it's relevant to disturb and if they, they can be disturbed, actually. So. Uh, do this and use your time effectively. Also, sometimes uh, this also happens in the companies that they, they gave you task, you did the task and they need to check the task and give you some remarks, but they don't find some time for you and you, you have actually three days or maybe a week where you basically don't do anything uh, on the task the, the company needs. So you can use that time also very effectively and you have many options. So number one option is to watch some video tutorials and follow some articles and build some projects. Uh, the second is to go to experienced people desks and ask them if you can watch them. So this is the thing probably which will help you the most to improve your general skills. So this is generally what I was doing in my internship and which helped me a lot to improve my skills. I remember my internship about nine years ago when I was in a, in a company. Uh, and by the way, I chose my internship um, uh, because of like improving my skills, not because of salary. I actually, um, the salary actually, which was paid to me was much lower than I was paid before I started internship in another company. Uh, okay, and I was looking at the experienced developers, how, how they were Googling, how they were solving some problems, how they were interacting in integrated development environment, and they taught me a lot of, a lot of things. And Googling is an absolute like, separate topic which can be discussed in a separate video, but I want to tell you one thing. I remember when I was in my internship and I had some problem, I was Googling for 
minutes and probably hours, but I couldn't find what I wanted. And then I went to my uh, my CEO, my uh, like the mentor, and uh, I asked him, um, "Look, I, I Google, I spent some time, but I couldn't find what I wanted." Then he told he told me, "Okay, come on, let's Google together." And he Googled, and the very first search result was actually what what I wanted. So the Googling skill is uh, absolutely necessary and must have skill for every developer. So while watching experienced developer, this is the number one skill you're gonna uh, improve. So definitely go to the developers and ask if you can watch them, how they are working with the, uh, with the computer, with the programs. Okay, so that will help you a lot, a lot to improve your skills. Also, my advice is to more focus on general skills rather than on specific ones. For example, uh, another general skill except Googling is problem solving skill. So I advise you to focus on problem solving skills. Um, if you have some free days, spend some time on problem solving algorithms. HackerRank, for example, HackerRank.com is one of the best uh, websites. There's a top coder and many others, but I found HackerRank very, very useful. You can start challenges from very uh, beginners up to advanced level. They have some rankings and you're gonna get badges if you reach some level. So it's also fun and it's very, very interesting. So definitely spend some time on problem solving. And in general, pay attention more on general skills than on some technology ones. For example, if you are interested in Laravel and you are learning, for example, Symfony Framework in your internship program, don't get angry about this because Laravel and Symfony are very similar. And during this internship, you will learn uh, deeply what is MVC, how MVC works, what is object-oriented programming, and you will master your skills in MVC and object-oriented programming, and you can very easily apply this to Laravel or to E2 framework or any other MVC framework. This, this will be very, very helpful. Even if you move out of PHP into another MVC framework, this knowledge will help you a lot. The same thing ha happens basically about front-end frameworks. So if you're interested in uh, React and you are learning Vue, for example, uh, don't get angry about this as well because the knowledge of the Vue will definitely help you later in, in, no, in learning React. So if you know what is a virtual DOM, if you know how the single page application frameworks work, this definitely will be a good knowledge gained in that company, which can be realized on Vue or React or even Angular. Okay, to sum up my video. So I want to give you advice to choose the internship company very carefully. Pay attention how much knowledge you are going to get in that company rather than how much salary you are going to get. Use your time as effectively as possible in that company. Ask as many questions to the developers as you can. In worst case scenario, you will get a refuse from the developer to answer that question because he is busy or something else, but definitely you tried. You asked the question. Try to improve general skills rather than specific ones. So try to improve your uh, skills in Googling, in problem solving, in working with IDE, how to use the shortcuts, how to effectively use the keyboard rather than mouse, how to work with a uh, version control system and, and etc. And if you have some free time, watch some tutorials, do some algorithm problems and try to use that time also effectively. That's all for this video. I hope I helped you. If so, hit the like button and share this video. Also, let me know in the comment section what you think. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.